Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Yokia. So yeah, today we are going to be doing something interesting. Pretty much a hands-on video. <laughs> my parents found found out about my love for Pokemon, especially the Pokemon Mimikyu, and bought me this thing. Okay, this is basically a Gundam set, I guess. Bandai, especially you see Bandai. Okay. So it's a Gundam set that um, is based around the Pokemon Mimikyu, okay? And it's not like I already have a shrine of Mimikyu or anything. <laughs> but uh, look at the head, it actually moves, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like just one more to add to the collection, I guess. But the, the twist that I'm gonna do, okay? The twist that I'm gonna do is that, let me go, let me go get the thing out, okay? Uh, uh, okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> okay, so so you see here, okay, I have this guy, okay? I have this guy right over here, okay? This guy is Mimikyu that my sister bought for me, okay? And right here is a Mimikyu that my parents bought for me. Now this thing here is actually a, a clay model that my sister bought. So it's actually quite heavy, good paperweight, I say. But if you look closely, they are very similar, okay? So like, okay, I think this is bigger than this. I think to make it different or stand out from this guy is that I want to modify this guy to be the shiny variant of the Mimikyu. And, for, and it works out because if you, look, if you look at the thing, okay? If you look here, the Mimikyu actually comes in parts. So the yellow, and the black are two separate things, meaning that the paint job will be significantly easier, okay, than trying to like repaint this to be the shiny variant, because they have to redraw the eyes and whatnot. So, so this will be a very, very fun challenge, I guess. So, let's open up and then uh, see what's inside. So we got stickers. We have two parts, and the instructions are actually printed on the box. I believe the box says there's only. 13 parts, I think you can see right here, 13 parts, and it actually says that there's no need for tools, but uh, me being the professional Gundam model that I am, I actually want to use tools <laughs> to like take out my Mimikyu, okay? So it's actually uh, pretty simple, you just have to, you see this thing, there's like a flat edge, I you can see it, I think it's how YouTube is it, yeah. It's like a flat edge and a cur and a tapered edge. You want to get the flat edge to be resting along along the parts of the model, and then you clip it. Okay, clip it like that, and then it comes out smoothly with like very little um, mess. One thing to note: I don't want to spray paint this model straight away. That's because uh, you see like this part of the face here, for example. If I were to spray paint the part of the um, model straight away, I heard that there will be like some yellow that will show through, and that's gonna look uh, pretty ugly, I guess. So uh, I, it's better to just take up the model first and then spray paint it afterwards. So these are all the yellow parts of the Mimikyu model. Now it's time to like spray paint these things grey. Uh, one problem that I do have with the spray paint is that um, the grey that I'm using is like a dark shade of grey whereas the shiny Mimikyu variant is actually more of the uh, lighter shade if I'm not wrong so uh, I'm going to have to like play with it and see if I can get uh, a lighter shade of grey if not I have to uh, buy a, a, a paint can that's actually like a darker shade and that's some money that I don't want to spend already. <laughs> it's pretty low budget, you can't tell. Okay, let me go spray this model and I'll come back with it. Ha! <laughs> I hit the mic. Okay, so um, what I've done is basically uh, put these guys on a pedestal. That way the uh, spray painting will be much easier. I'm uh, going to spray paint them white first and then I'll spray paint them uh, grey. Hopefully the white will help make the grey less dark like I put a light layer of a very thin layer of grey because I know the grey that I have is really dark so 
Uh, let's, let's see how that goes. Hello! Uh, I finished spraying. So, the Mimikyu is no longer the same color as this guy, okay? It is now... Drum roll, please. This color! <laughs> so yeah, it's... Um, I'm not sure you can see it. Uh, the, I guess... I learned a lesson on spray painting. And that is... Um, don't use a spray can that's less than like 40%. I guess because when the spray can is less than 40% okay I'm not sure you can see it but it becomes very polka dotted ish so the the paint actually doesn't come out evenly okay I got a spray can that was like uh, more full and yeah the, the coating on it was way better than um, the, the grey colour that I had but using some um, uh, gradient thing and like brute force I guess I was able to get a grey Mimikyu to look like the shiny variant oh, I tried my best I guess in addition I also coloured in the cheeks using uh, some Gundam official black marker and I know I said black but if you look, if you look at it Somehow it turns sort of like bluish grey from my from my end. So it's like I guess it, it works out since Mimi Q shiny chicks are also bluish grey. And you know it's not black, because if you look at my scarf right here, this black and this black are like two different hues or whatever already. So you you know it's not the same colour. I also went ahead and did the eyes for this one. Since the Mimikyu now is grey, okay, the eyes, like the, the line work inside, can't be yellow anymore, like what the sticker here suggests, okay? It can't be yellow, so it has to be grey. And yeah, I went ahead and I found some like paint uh, and tried my best to like mix it up. Now that that's out of the way, we can continue fixing up our Mimikyu, okay? So, uh, yeah, the first things first, we got to like, insert the scowl into the head. Let's see how cool that looks. I'm gonna like wiggle it in. Please don't tell me the, the paint made it um, too thick to fit. This one, this A14 is apparently the eyes of the Mimikyu. So yeah, this thing goes into the eyes. Just like that I presume uh, yeah. there you go clicks using the okay using the eyes as a gauge okay uh, it's not flush and there was a click so I know that I, I'm pretty sure that this is all the way in so it's not flush meaning that um, these eyes this big head up here doesn't have to be flush as well so now that this is done it says to just connect uh, the two pieces together. There should be a nice click, I guess. And there we go. So we got a Mimikyu. Look at that. Ain't that the same thing? The eyes are a bit different, but <laughs> yeah, there. Next one. We're going to be fixing the ears. Okay. Let's do this ear done and this A1 piece completed. Okay, so these two. Apparently it's joined first and then you stick it to the ear. So let's do that. So now we stick it to the ear. Pointing upwards, yeah. Should point upwards. Now it's this side. Point to the official one, it points down. So we make it point down as well. Oh, that was a nice snap right there. Now we're doing the tail. Okay, that's nice. Okay. And actually while we're at it, let's just cut out the black piece as well, since that's the last step anyways. So now, we just need to do the tail. Put the tail together, like so. Yep. Let's compare. 
It's a bit of a lighter shade than the clay model one, but I think it works for the shiny because uh, I think the shiny one is also a little bit lighter, but we'll see. Okay, so now we have to assemble the bottom. So it says to put the base down first, then put this on top. Just like so. So it fits snugly like that. Now that's going to be hard to remove if I need to remove it. And then we put uh, this one on top. I think this is right. Now we just put in the Mimic cue. So you can see this uh, hole here has a groove up there. And this Mimic cue has a groove up there as well. So I assume it just fits in like that. I think the paint made it a bit too thick. Let me just try to like squeeze it in. So yeah, I'm just gonna insert the tail and then we'll be done with it. Oh that's pretty cool. Since it's a ball joint, the tail actually like moves around. So you can have it like like that, flat. I bring it up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So yeah, this is the shiny variant of my Mimikyu. A rough look, you can tell that it's about 1cm larger. But other than that, it's basically the same. The eyes are higher on the clay model. This one looks like it's looking up at you, whereas this one looks like it's looking straight at you. So yeah, that's interesting. Mm, the eyes are also drawn differently. I'm not sure what is the correct eyes, but I also draw my eyes randomly. I just know it scribbles. <laughs> I think I might like decorate this thing a little bit more once I'm done. And then, uh, yeah, I'll post it on my I'll post it on the YouTube channel. If you like me building and commentating this stuff, I do have a Lego set that I want to build. So I guess you can subscribe and keep in touch. Maybe I'll try to make the Lego set a little bit more scripted. So yeah, maybe it'll be different. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching, and bye guys! Whee! Bubble hit.